Hello and welcome to the Floyd Models Friday Roundup Show. Here we are with you on the 2nd of December. Yes, we're into December, so we're getting to the end of the year and the push towards the final finishes for everything we're doing. Anyway, uh, you might remember last weekend, oh, look, I'm out of practice with the buttons, uh, we had our um, turkey shoot. Absolutely fantastic job. Well done to everybody who took part, to everybody who joined us, obviously, on social media, to people who joined us, obviously, on YouTube land, uh, and all those different areas that came in. We had a fantastic time all building life uh, throughout the entire weekend, well, and Thursday and Friday. Uh, as I said, we were basically just going right the way through. As you can see down here, I'm just about to paint eyes, I think, uh, on uh, my little lady. Uh, but it said it was great to sort of build along and do it. The whole point of the turkey shoot is literally, as you know, is just to have a little bit of fun. We've been doing it for sort of over 10 years now, uh, these particular live series uh, of shows that we do. We do the Thursday, the Friday, and then open to the public, obviously, right the way over the weekend with the whole game really is to either finish off a model, perhaps you've had a sore project or something else like that, or is to obviously, you know, build a model within the four day week. And again, everybody just flew with this particular one and literally went on with it. And again, it's always, I think, sort of testament to how well the shows have gone when it doesn't feel like it's gone. It, it literally the time flew uh thursday friday absolutely just flew past and then obviously uh at the weekend as well it's like you know we've been on for two two and a half hours things like that at a time and it's like where has the time gone it just flown by and that's because i think we're having a lot of fun is making our way through so anyway loads and loads of fun with this one you see down in here oh look i'm just about to paint an eye or attempt to paint an eye uh for this one as i said i did uh the um uh lady from metropolis uh the film uh as you know so that's what i'm just about to paint an eyeball there shall i fast forward because i don't even know i'd probably yap into matt oh there we go so we're doing some eyeball work down with her i say great build as well this was the uh x plus kit i think she's one eight scale if i remember rightly uh so yes it was uh really nice to put that together and to be honest it went together very very well it's one of those kits i describe it a bit like a mobius kit as in the it looks quite flashy and plain and not very exciting on the sprue but when you get her off clean her up and get it together she actually goes together very very nicely but anyway it did go well uh, and as i said we all had a lot of fun with that particular one and with the power of cameras here she is right here so say i did the base as well we just hand painted that in with the old post pens because we like those and here she is she's all done a great little figure and again had a lot of fun going on with that one uh, and working with her so again massive thank you to everybody who took part with it big thank you to obviously everybody who purchased some merchandise we sold out of pretty much a lot of the merchandise we do we have got a full restock to be honest i've been down to our local printers uh, down to aaron printers in newton abbott shout out to those guys and i picked up some more aprons and more t-shirts and a few other bits and pieces which got an order with those as well so that's all back in stock on the actual store. So if you're thinking Christmas presents and stuff like that coming along, we've also got a few other bits of merch, which I'm really hopeful we'll have in before Christmas, but it's getting tight now. And I know with the postal situation as it is at the moment, having just had postal strikes for the last two days, how things are getting delayed in the post system and stuff like that. It is one of those knock-on effects because obviously I know there only, you know, it was Wednesday, Thursday this week, there was no post service, but obviously you got the knock-on effect because then they've got to catch up and get things in position. So if you're all is with us and it has been delayed then just stick with it it is on its way full tracking is made by us as soon as we process the order you'll get another tracking update when it gets uh basically arrived at the sorting center and then obviously next thing you'll know is you'll get a knock on the door with it with any luck and you get the tracking on that bit as well so again bear with us i know pm is struggling with it as well with the post at the moment because it is just literally all over the place and we've just got no idea when things are going to get delivered we used to say it's 48 hour service at the moment, it could mean anything. So unfortunately, it's completely out of our hands with that one. Anyway, uh, this week did happen, although I wasn't here for a good chunk of it. But anyway, it all started on, uh, here we go, on Monday, where we had uh, part four of the uh, Phantom One Up. Now, this sort of rolls in a little bit to obviously what I was discussing uh, for the membership uh, on the uh, Phil's Q&A show, where I basically went to town uh critique shall we say heavily the zucamori f4 kit and it turns out it's the e i'm not going to go over it again because i've spoken about it a lot but a lot of this you can see the amount of filler that needed to correct the, the fit issues with this particular kit so anyway if you're into all of that one go off and see that one now members you can see it's all around about part four and we talk about the problems it's got and how we fix them uh, at the end of the day we went around doing it and stuff like that so anyway that was on with you on monday i had a couple of uh, days off this week 
myself and the other half uh, went down to Cornwall uh, and we had a nice three day breakdown in Cornwall, uh, which was very nice. Well, on the Tuesday, uh, Wednesday and yesterday, we came out yesterday afternoon, to be honest. So that was very nice as well. Uh, but in the meantime, Matt was busy with you and he's been working on, although we know he's a little bit further ahead, but uh, it's getting there. Part five of the monogram 48 scale uh, B25 H went up with you. So this is all about the chipping. Uh, and the actual uh, the painting stage of this one. So as you can see, this is Matt working his way with the airbrushing. And if you want some nice, relaxed, chill out, whaley music, then you can watch Matt airbrush for half an hour. Uh, and go through it. But anyway, once he's in there and all the rest of it, he does talk about obviously going through on the chipping with it. Uh, he uses the mask oil technique, which I'm a massive fan of. Uh, you'll know I use that one myself a lot. I think it's just one of those ones where you can tell exactly what you're going to get. If you're doing the hairspray chip, you're in the lap of the gods a little bit. Um, but as I say, with the mask oil chipping, as you can see, it looks absolutely stunning. You can put it exactly where you want it, and then you can literally just pick at it uh, and take it off, and it will flake well. Also, with this one, it's a nice touch as well. Matt's used uh, lacquers. Uh, I know a lot of people are terrified about actually using uh, chipping techniques with lacquers. But like as Matt says on this one, as long as you don't hang around uh, and obviously leave it for a couple of days to totally cure, if you do it within a couple of hours, uh, it just acts like a normal acrylic. It doesn't totally harden off and become unworkable. Whereas obviously if you leave it on there for a good couple of days and you come back to it, you'll notice that it's actually, it eats, the lacquer will physically eat through pretty much everything and just welds itself on. It just makes things a lot harder. But if you do it off the bat, you know, the great thing about lacquer paints is they dry within 10 minutes, uh, totally handleable. So you can just get in there and you can see there, you can do all the chipping work with this one. So anyway, this is Matt's series. Obviously he's working on the classic uh, monogram V25. Great kit uh, and coming together really very, very nicely on that one. Then we're all back with me today. Uh, so part five has just gone up uh, on the actual website. So this is part five of the Phantom. And into this one, we've got more complaints because the scale thickness of these strengthening plates for the uh, tailplanes are awful, awful. How that, oh yeah, yeah, anyway. So if you're like me and you've built a few phantoms in your life, you'll know that normally they're molded in and uh, Hasegawa used to say to you, remove them. And it used to be quite easy. You'd give a couple of swipes on the sanding stick and they'd be gone. Quick little rescribe if you needed it and you were good to go. But no, unfortunately, Zuckamore has gone the other direction and they used, I don't know what it is. It's probably at least um, three quarters of a mil to one mil thick plastic card as a strengthening plate and it's well over the top. So anyway, you need to sand it down. You get it sanded down, it's good to go. And then it was time to get it over into the spray boom, get a coat of primer on it because we wanted to know what these seam lines and the fixes that we had to make to this kit were all going to be like. Anyway, happy to report, as you can see here, they all went down beautifully, no problem at all with it. And as I say, down in here, you can see no problems at all there that actually worked very very well so then we had to go around and fix a little bit of the damage that we had caused with this one so again usual thing rescribing re-riveting uh, for it so we're showing different techniques of doing that and going through with it there we go with the riveting wheels putting some of those rivets in because obviously we've made a little bit of damage so anyway that's part five that is up with you right now uh, members you can go off and see that one uh, down in there so you can just fall straight in there things going on at the moment obviously there isn't a great deal uh new arrival section in the pm to be honest they've had a quite a, a busy week and we will cover this fully next week i think it'll be easy i'll get matt on with me we can explain what's been going on uh some of our gripes with the modeling world at the moment but one thing it is a nice little turn up was this uh this is the book that we were talking about over the weekend uh which is obviously we've got the wild weasel series here so these are books for modelers so, um, you know, literally you can do this thing uh, and it's got built up model kits in here explaining all the different types and variants. And you can see, I think that's the uh, Tamiya F16 down in there. So for modelers, I think they're absolutely fantastic because it's a walk around and a build guide uh, and certainly paint and weathering guides in one. So we've got a series of these books coming out. You might know if you were watching at the weekend, we were talking about the uh, F35 book, which looks absolutely fantastic. So um, I think Matt's going to send us some of these down for me to get my hands on. I'll do a proper review of these uh, when we get a few in uh, and I can show you what I mean with them. But if you're like me, you'll know I'm quite a, a booky person. I like to have some proper uh, reference material when I do my builds. Uh, and this looks like a great series of books as well. So hopefully uh, we'll be getting a lot more of these in very, very soon. But this is book four, which is on about the wild weasel and i said before we've got other ones coming down the line as well in the near future so uh yeah looking forward to all of those and to be honest that is about it so we'll cover all things pm next week we're going to cover all different bits and pieces 
She's done and completed, which is another completion for my yearly uh, tariff of build. So that's good. Phantom is down here in front of me. So next week, because it's now totally dry, clearly, because it's had three days off, uh, it will be all about paint. So over the weekend, I'm going to start on this one so you get the next part with you on Monday. And it's going to be all about the painting. And then the fantastic decals. And no, this isn't two markings. This is one marking. That's one lot of stencil data and one lot of markings. So as you can imagine, it's a full on. And I've been getting messages from you guys as well saying, careful, Phil, those decals are very, very fragile. Mm. So if they start shattering onto me, it may become just a normal EJ weather to hell and all the rest of it. But no, we're not. Hopefully we'll get it all done. <laughs> you know shark's mouth on it for god's sake it's got to happen it'll be fine but anyway that's going to be all next week really pushing forward heavily this one will be completed uh hopefully in the next two weeks right the way through as well and i've got to my last project of the year which will really push through and get that one going Anyway, big part of obviously this show is going to be our reveal. So this is our reveal section for everything obviously that happened at the weekend. Congratulations to everybody who took part. We got some fantastic builds. We've got one exception, Matt. He hasn't sent me the photo for the completed build of his model and he's at work and his model for it is a little tiny uh, KT ambulance uh, is at home. So that will come up next week. But Andy's, you'll see on there at the beginning. Mine's at the end as well for the reveal photos. So if you hang around and have a look, you'll see some amazing work that you members took part uh, and produced over this week as well, following through. Just to follow up on that one, I remove everybody's build sections and put them in the right relevant areas and I'll get it all filed away uh, and things like that and archived over the course of the weekend. So if you're wondering why your build's moved, that's where it's gone. Just go on your own page and then you can see your own builds and you can follow the link from it from there to make our way through. Anyway, that's it from me. Happy modeling, take care, and I'll see you all next week.